Welcome back. The second type of bushings used with jigs are liner bushings. Liner bushings are also called master bushings. They are pressed permanently into the jig plate to facilitate the use of renewable type of drill bushings. The liner bushings remain in place throughout the life of the jig forming an accurate location for the renewable drill bushings. So in a way, these bushings are very similar to press fit bushings because they remain in the body of the jig throughout the life of the jig. But here their purpose is different and here they are used to, to house or locate the renewable bushings. Like press fit bushings, we have two types of liner bushings. We have, we have headless liner bushings. These bushings are permanently installed bushings used to hold renewable drill bushings. The liners inside dia has a precise sliding fit with the renewable bushings outer dia. The liner accurately locates the renewable bushing and protects the jig plate from wear and damage caused by frequent bushing replacement. So the renewable bushing fits here inside this liner bushing and the outer dia of the renewable bushing makes a sliding fit or a, or a clearance fit with this inner dia of the, of the liner bushing. So we can use different uh, renewable bushing throughout the life of the jig inside the same liner bushing. So here is an example. So this is the jig plate and we have this outer liner bushing, this is the headless liner, and we have uh, held this slip bushing inside this liner. And in order to hold it firmly, we are using this retainer shoulder screw so that this renewable bushing or the slip bushing doesn't come out of the jig plate because of the axial thrust of the, of the drill. So uh, this is the locked position of the slip bushing inside the liner. So once we have to uh, remove it out of the jig, uh, out of the liner, in fact, then we will rotate this slip bushing in this direction. So head of this retainer screw uh, will reach here and we can pull the slip bushing out of the liner. So this retainer shoulder screw is actually fixed in position and we can easily remove the slip bushing from the liner. Second type of liner bushings are headed liner bushings. So they are similar except for the head. So head liners are similar to liner bushings, but with a head to resist heavy axial loads, very similar to the headed press fit bushings. These are permanent bushings used to hold renewable drill bushings. The liners Inside dia has a precise sliding, sliding fit with the renewable bushings outside dia, just like headless liners. Uh, the outer dia of the renewable bushing makes a sliding fit with this inner dia of the liner bushing. Then we have renewable bushings. These bushings require periodic replacement because of wear due to continuous contact with hard cutting tool. Renewable bushings are used in liners, as we saw uh, in the previous slides, which in turn are installed in the jig. So we install the liners in the jig body or the jig plate, and then these renewable bushings are uh, held inside the liners. Use of liner in the jig plate provides hardened wear resistant mating surface to the renewable bush. Renewable bushings can be assembled manually without any press. So as we have repeatedly mentioned that they make a sliding fit with the inner die of the liner so they can be easily uh, placed inside the liner and removed uh, once needed. There are two types of renewable bushings. We have fixed renewable bushings and we have slip renewable bushings. Fixed renewable bushings, here is an example. They are used where only one operation is performed in each hole, but where several bushings must be used during the life of the tool. So you can say in a way that 
uh, with respect to purpose, these bushings are very similar to press fit bushings, <clears throat> but they are used when the life of the jig is longer or when we have to perform a larger number of operations as compared to press fit bushings. They are intended to remain in the jig until wearing out. These bushings are provided with a flat on the collar. Flat arrest with the collar of the retainer shoulder screw to prevent rotation. And the bush flange below the collar of the shoulder screw prevent the bush getting lifted with the cutting, with the cutting tool. So here you can uh, visualize that uh, instead of discarding the jig or, or, or making a new jig, we simply replace the bushing in the jig so that we can use that jig for a longer time. Here is the collar that we are mentioning. So the head of the retainer screw actually locks this bushing at this point inside the jig plate or inside the liner. So this is the uh, fixed renewable bushing. So you can see the same here. Here is the collar or it has on the other side as well. So you can visualize here uh, uh, in a better way. So this is the fixed renewable bushing and this is the retainer shoulder screw that is holding uh, this bushing at this point, at, at this collar. So after this bushing wears out, we, we remove the screw out of the jig plate, and then we remove the bushing and insert a new bushing and then lock this bushing in place using the same retainer shoulder screw. So I hope you can visualize this jig plate and the bush and the retainer screw holding the uh, uh, fixed renewable bushing in place. So. In this case, we are performing just one operation at this point. So it is in contrast to the slip renewable bushings where we can perform more than one operation uh, using the same hole in the jig plate by replacing the uh, different diameter bushings. Slip renewable bushings are used with, used with liner bushings when more than one operation is performed in the same location such as drilling and reaming. The outer die is finished ground for a slip fit into the liner bushing. So this outer die makes a slip fit into the liner bushing. The hole is first drilled using a bushing having bore suitable for drill. And then the drill bushing is removed and a reaming bushing is used to guide the reamer. So we have same liner but we are putting in two different bushings, one for drilling that will have a relatively smaller inside die and then another bushing for reaming that will have a slightly larger inside die, but both of the bushings, one for drilling and other for reaming will have the same outer die because they are fitting in the same liner bushing. So for loading and unloading of the slip bushing, the cutout in the flange is aligned with the collar of the retainer shoulder screw. Then the bushing can be rotated clockwise for installation and anti-clockwise for removal. So again, this is the uh, bushing locked uh, inside the liner. So just to reiterate, this is the bushing plate. This, this one is the liner or the master bushing and inside is the uh, slip renewable bushing. And this is the locked position. Now, once we have to remove the bushing, say this is the bushing used for drilling. And now we have to insert the bushing for reaming. So in order to remove this bushing, uh, we will rotate it in counterclockwise direction in this direction. So head of this screw will reach here at this point, at this cutout, and then we will pull this bushing out and next, next uh, the new bushing will be pushed inside the liner and then we will rotate it in the clockwise direction so that it is reached in this uh, position as is shown. So I hope you can visualize that. 
From conclusive remarks, slip renewable bushings are available with several inside diameter sizes for each outside diameter size. So as I mentioned, the one bushing for drilling will have different inside diameter than the reaming bushing for for the reaming purpose in the same hole, but both will have the same outside diameter because they are fitting in the same liner. Therefore, the bushing may be used, removed, and a larger inside bushing placed into the same liner. These bushings are usually knurled to aid in their removal, but the fixed renewable bushings are not knurled. So you might have noticed that these bushings have their head knurled for easy gripping, the slip renewable bushings, but fixed renewable bushings generally are not knurled, they are plain. And here in this example, actually, in the case of fixed re renewable bushing, uh, you might have noticed that the bushing is directly installed into the jig plate, but it can be installed in a liner as well. So we discussed both type of bushings together, the liner bushings and renewable bushings, because they are used together, especially the slip renewable bushings are used inside the liner because they have to be periodically removed and installed. So we use the liner in order to make the process quick and smooth.